All right, time for our tropical discussion. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson, and we are going to be able to have an opportunity to kind of fill in things a little bit more than what we have in a normal weather forecast just built within a news. And I'm glad to be able to tell you uh, that things are still relatively quiet in the Atlantic Basin, especially when we're talking about the Gulf, the Caribbean, and the east coast of the U.S. Now, I do know we have some folks in the Caribbean who like to check in as well. It's not all U.S. visitors, but we're going to be watching this tropical wave that's cut, that just moved off the coast of Africa. National Hurricane Center giving that a 70% chance that it would develop into a tropical system. Our GFS feature cast can show that that does definitely look like it wants to become a tropical system with some time. We'll kind of move through and show you when we get into Friday, Saturday. So this is a way Ways down the line here, right? It's only Tuesday right now, and I'm looking at a future cast that's seven days from now, and we're looking to possibly drop possibly tracking Gabrielle. That's the next name on our list. And the interesting parts here will be to track exactly how strong or how weak this storm is. In very general terms, when you get a stronger storm out here, it has a tendency to want to kind of veer up to the north a little bit. And again, in some very general terms, a weaker storm will want to sort of stay a little lower in the latitudes, especially if it starts to speed up a little bit. That kind of helps get it into the Caribbean and then possibly even into the Gulf. So we'll have to see how that develops. Again, a lot of, of discussion, a lot of time for that one to sort of begin to get itself organized. And as I mentioned, Gabrielle will be the next named storm. We've only had one hurricane so far, but some of our modeling does indicate that Gabrielle might be able to gain that, si that strength of a hurricane and hopefully stay out in the Atlantic, follow the path of Aaron and also Fernand as well, which were those ones that just sort of stayed in the Atlantic. Switching gears just a little bit, I'm gonna kind of double switch gears on us because first of all, I'm gonna start talking about what's in the Pacific, but then also I'm gonna talk about even for those folks of us here in, in Texas. And I know, and again, I know not all of our audience is Texas, but we're certainly gonna be talking about it. This is a Lorena. Lorena is currently a tropical storm. National Hurricane Center keeping an eye on it. Maximum sustained strength winds at around 50 miles an hour. It's expected to make a Mexico landfall, and it is probably gonna reach a hurricane strength before it makes landfall as a strong tropical storm. Now, what's gonna be interesting about this is this is going to be one of those situations where the remnants or the moisture that's kind of left over from this storm is going to be with us and impacting the U.S. So here's the future cast. This is the exclusive Fox weather model. Notice how we've got that churning out here. It gets better organized and then begins to make that landfall. And look at all that moisture moving up through the southwest of the U.S. and then even moving into the panhandle of Texas. And some of that moisture could possibly make its way down even in to Southeast Texas. And that's what our GFS model is showing us. So again, different computer models, a long amount of time. There's always gonna be some variety. Here's that uh, system again, possibly becoming a hurricane, but the GFS has this making a landfall quicker and further to the south, and then making a little bit more of a direct shot towards El Paso. Now, pretty mountainous terrain here that this is gonna have to move over, and then sort of throwing in all of that moisture and making its way back down even here towards the coast. So not something that we're going to get concerned with as far as, you know, extremely high amounts of rainfall, but it could certainly add to it. And again, the time frame we're talking on Sunday afternoon before we see that take place. So here's some rainfall accumulations from that GFS model. As again, as the storm moves along, it's dropping a lot of rain. It's going to lose that intensity after the landfall. It's more of a disorganized batch of moisture, but we could be seeing some of our areas and this is one of those situations where it's kind of just contributing it's not the only reason why we're having rain over the weekend but it's certainly kind of adding some more moisture in there and giving that the possibility of, of some of that development we have officially made it to September and when we get into September we have different areas that we begin to watch a little bit closer those formations
transition zones, if you will. And far as named storms are concerned, we're still watching very closely all along the lower latitudes here, the tropical Atlantic. And then as we're going to continue to watch along the western Atlantic as well, this is pretty much where we're seeing what we think will be Gabrielle track. It's going right along where we would kind of expect that. You'll notice though, we also have a pretty big red blob here in the Gulf. That's a possibility of another zone that we do keep an eye on. All right, that's going to do it for our tropical update today. Remember, we're here every day of hurricane season, even over the weekend and the holidays. I was here giving those reports. We get them posted to YouTube if that's how you prefer to check them out. Always going to be a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time.